Welcome to yet another video of uh, MGS Man Plays, or it's basically a let's play, uh, let's play Golders. Uh, with this one, it's gonna be, you know, just the usual me doing stuff, but, drum roll please, I shall be uncovering the head that is hidden underneath a lot of uh, well, layers of ground whatever anyway uh, this bit here uh, as you can see just a couple of abodes there it's separate to this little bit over here uh, what this was was a little sort of adventure where uh, I wanted to see what this was and it's just a shrine of power. It enables you to create swamps if you want to. Not sure why you would want to, but you can anyway. Uh, that comes up, uh, or should come up in the list here. Uh, what we've got the Atoy Totem Settlement, uh, Statue of Speed. Now, Beautify. That costs 5,000 of your faith. And as you can see there, these like, uh, I'm guessing like butterflies that float around. Uh, and you can actually see you know, these sort of lines in the, in the grass, I'm guessing, you know, as if it's like neatly mould or freshly mould or whatever and even the trees seem to have some kind of extra texture to them that is what happens when you uh, choose beautiful uh, ah there's swamp the use of swamp would mainly be if you were in battle with someone basically um, not sure why you would want to use it on your own people um, but yeah there you go so yeah that was a card that I acquired last time uh, from that power shrine uh, and there's the other stuff anyway we don't want that so we'll get rid of that what I do want to do uh, for now is that an expansion then? Oh, it's just a shrine of expansion. Yeah, I think I'll leave that one for now. Because that will open up sort of all of this lot over here, possibly, I'm guessing. I do want to go that way because I want to make my way to that island that I showed in the last video with the, um, with the boat, as you can see there. I do. I want to make my way over to there. Um, how I will do that? Well, that will come up in uh, another one. It will probably be me going from hmm, it seems the shortest route would be as we come over from there to here and then create a path going around so possibly that way no, I, I don't know yet I will see uh, let's just click home to uh, to get home at the moment this is classed as home because this was where I last put the totem uh, also as you can see there, how clean that bit is compared to this bit around the edge. That's because that bit has been beautified. And that's what it does. It basically cleans up uh, the area. Now, yeah, I know. <laughs> Last video I was sort of saying, oh, I think the head's over here. Not realising that in the video before that, the one that is actually called the head. 
I had stated that it was under here. So, what I'm going to be doing in this video, and don't worry, it won't be in real time. I will pause the video, like pause recording at a certain point, and yeah, so that I can get rid of some of the stuff, and yeah. Uh, what I never realised is that there was, uh, that's right, there was a chest there, and that's why that bit is already kind of uh, uh, silly bad spook. Yeah, um, what's it called? Excavated. Yeah. Uh, anyway, anyway, excuse me for for now. Uh, I shall. Click that as the almighty sound goes all fully. Uh, because what I need to do is really build up um, a lot of faith. Uh, I think I've read comments on my when they uncovered it. Uh, they do something like 300,000 points of faith just to uncover their heads. So, uh, maybe they did it a different way. Uh, maybe they didn't use this sculpting, I don't know. Um, I get it because. Uh, it's kind of like you need to get to that stage before you kind of unlock that area. Yeah, so um, let's click this. Please sound don't go so fuzzy. Ah, there we go. That's that's better. Yeah. Don't like when the sound goes a bit all <laughs> because it's sort of annoying. Uh, right. Uh, what I did want to do first, uh, before before going around collecting too much, uh, although Nell said that I might as well collect uh, this bit. I think the reason the sound goes a bit funny is because I've basically got this running like on a, a separate uh, monitor. Plus, you have got all this. It kind of takes uh, it takes some power, so to speak, to you know, Generate. Uh, so, right, uh, as I said, I'll be pausing the video. I'm going to pause it right now so I can collect all this without you having to sit there watching me click, 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 click. So, be right back. I'm so just to uh, briefly unpause it, yeah, to uh, show you this little bit. As you can see, the grounds are different. When you're in houses, a shrine, a kind of like thing going on there. You've got the bit of which is still there, so you got the bit of grass there, which Things right over the top, even the trees, because this uh, that's our ground, what's a ground spot, and the trees are all brown. And it's, you look at the trees, and they're all uh, different textured. So, uh, yeah, we does been in some parts on Beautified, but you probably probably don't want to do a lot. I think you may be able to upgrade the Beautified, you can do a bigger area at the moment. You are, it's quite a small area, I think it's something like five seconds to clean as much as you can, so. Uh, it, it's it's worth it really to clean up some areas which are I mean I think this is swamp basically uh, because that shrine there the shrine of power that is where I got the uh, the beautiful card from uh, which enabled me to clean up this area which was all well I mean <laughs> you can see the difference just from that that you know. Yeah, I was just going to do a silly bang thing, but no. Right, I, I'll pause it again there while I'm still collecting more orbs. Uh, be right back. Righty ho. I've collected quite a bit of faith, as you can see there. It's uh, gone up to 116k. That may not be enough still. 
What? I shall make a start on uh, get getting rid of this. Oh, jeez, I'm pressing the wrong button. No. Get rid of it. Now oh, that's right. Left click. There we go. As you can see, it's uh, gradually disappearing. Uh, except when you do things like that. This is a problem. You need to get really close so that you don't make silly mistakes like that. Uh, that's the one problem that the game kind of needs to address is that when you're uh when you realize we got there da, 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 da. Well, actually I think if we just do that and shrink that down uh it, you need to kind of put the cursor in a specific um why? So, uh, well, I'll, I'll say in a specific way. What I mean is, is, uh, Okay, hello again. I've uh, started recording again to show you this. The discovery of three chests all in one spot. Uh, if you remember, down here is where I'm excavating to find that big giant head. Uh, over here is the Temple of Fertility. Well, uh, just up here, as you can see at the top of the screen there, and there we go. Here, there appears to be three separate chests. I've already dug out the uh, thing. So here we go. Chest number one. Is well a felt resource card. Wow! Oh, oh, hold on. Ah, I need that for family. No, okay. Oh, it's like that. Oh, take that back. Uh, let's see what this one is. Chest number two. Oh, a flint resource card. I uh, don't need that for anything at the moment. And behind chest number three, we have a clay resource card. Okay. Well, at least one of them came in handy for something. Uh, <laughs> so, I'll leave it there and uh, rejoin me when I have discovered something else or gotten a bit further in my... Uh, in my quest to uncover the Gigantosaurus head. Uh, right, okay. As you can see from here, where I was excavating before to find the big head, after watching a previous video, I discovered it's not here. So what I have decided to do is build a town here. Uh, there are still plenty of vacancies there, as you can see. You've got vacant pots uh, where I can build more. And a lot of them are like these size 3 abodes. So, I will be placing some more in this area. Um, because the town centre 
should hopefully stretch that far. I think it will, because these are pretty close. And so, yeah, I kind of realised after watching another video that the head is actually under here. And so, as you can see, that bit there was where I found those three chests uh, before. Anyway, uh, like I say, I've uh, put a load of houses there to collect all the faith, which is going to be very helpful because what I didn't realise is that abode with the blue uh, roof is what, what was shown in the video. And I'll get it mixed up with the roof of uh, the roof of one of those, which is actually more of a green colour. So, yeah. And that's why, as I say, I decided to uh, to turn this into a town. Uh, and the reason that I've got these size three, I mean, look at how much you get. When you click, so it, now that is about 600 faith points. So that was 600. There's 1200. Uh, that makes 1800. That would make 24, and that would make 3,000 faith points just from those five abodes, which. It's quite a lot, really, considering it's from so few abodes. Now, when you look here, uh, <clears throat> there are quite a few. <laughs> so, as you can imagine, that I'm going to be building some more out over the back there. So, when I click, <laughs> lots of faith. As you can see from the size of the town, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, there's just eight at the bottom there that are connected by roads, which all accumulates at the town statue. And so, counting them all, off, there's, there's over 20 already. And I've got room here. Is that that's a number three? So that will be another one. That's another number three. And yep, so there's room for three more. So that's obviously another 1800 points of faith. Um, plus, there's room sort of over this side as well by bringing this bit out which I'm not going to do at the moment I'm going to leave that till a later time but for now I shall uh, make a start on yeah. building these few in order to give me a, a pretty big boost which will help me when it comes to unearthing the giant head uh, because luckily it doesn't take that long to accumulate the faith into like the, the town centre there and obviously I will need quite a lot for me to find out exactly where the head is hidden under here and so that will be coming up soon well hello what do we have here uh, it's David at Imbra mode and here we find something white hidden beneath the earth what it is we don't know yet but it's white. So, what can we see? Well, let us move a bit more earth 
so that we can discover just what it is. Anyway, enough of that. Yes, it looks like I have found uh, what you might call the tip of the head. Although, technically, it's on its side. But, you know what I mean. Anyway. Here we go. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to uncover it all. Uh, I've uncovered a bit more than I should, because I kind of overestimated the size of the head. <laughs> it's not as big as you may think. So, uh, yeah, be careful when... Well, if, if you're watching this and you haven't played it yet, or if you haven't got to this stage, be aware that the head is not as big as it may seem. Uh, as you can see to the right there, there's a lot of space, uh, which I, I uncovered and basically wasted a lot of faith points on that. So, uh, so yeah, be careful. Uh, and here it is. Here is the beginning of the uncovering of the Gigantosaurus head. Uh, I'm not exactly too sure how big it is. I mean, it, it, in that previous video when I did that thing where I sort of skipped across and you, you saw a quick glimpse of it sort of underneath, it did look quite big. But looking at it now, in comparison, it's not that big, so a little warning there to anyone that's not uncovered it yet. Uh, you know, don't waste too many of your uh, your faith points on sort of uncovering unnecessary land. You know, uh, because you know, as you can see, it, it's it, it doesn't seem that wide either so I'm not exactly too sure how tall it is so obviously I'm gonna be uh, you know, as you can see I'm just uncovering the top what would be the top of the head uh, I mean the, the bit over this side that look uh, can you tell what it is yet I uh, probably shouldn't make that joke, considering recent events. Um, but you can kind of see... That's obviously the mouth. Uh, the, the bit that I'm uncovering there. The nose, obviously, is going to be around there. And so... Uh, oh, there we go, there's another little bit. Oh there's, oh, there's a little bit more, that looks like it's the nose. Who knows? It could be. Ah, anyway, sorry about the bad puns. Um, but as you can see, yeah, that's obviously the mouth. Um, that bit's the nose. And you can kind of see just how big it is. The top of the head's going to be about there. I'm not too sure how far down it goes. So I think it. It could be about that far down, which means there's quite a bit there to uncover. Um, obviously, the points my five points are getting a bit low. I've only got, as you can see, there seven eight eight eight. Uh, so I'm going to need to collect quite a few faith points from the towns, obviously, and. The many houses. Uh, not exactly sure if I can build another settlement. I mean, that would come in handy for specifically the the bit just over to the left there, um, where I've got well, sort of left and down a bit, where I've got all those abodes. Um, they're all size two. As you, uh, well, similar to. That one on the left there, the blue roofed house. Uh, I may try putting a settlement there to help boost up uh, the faith points. 
Uh, but for now, uh, I shall leave it there, and in the next video, I will unearth it.